All right, so you guys said in the last video you wanted to see workouts and food. So we're gonna try to combine both of that in this video. However, I gotta put a disclaimer that what we do, what I'm doing currently may not be aligned with your goals. And I say that because don't think, I am doing the stepper a lot right now. But don't think the stepper is what got me my gains or what got me to my body, it's not. It's like you constantly do different things um, and it's, it's based off your body, so it's easy to get fooled by people you see. And I've spoken about this before, how like people will show like just using bands, yet they're, they have like massive muscle and their body's super set and they have these amazing gains and tiny waist, but all they do is use bands. And that could be very, um, what is it called? Deceiving. Deceiving to somebody who's just kind of starting out, they don't know what the deal is, but this girl always uses bands, so I'm gonna do that too. So did the stepper give me my gains? No, it did not. Am I using it now? Yes, because I'm trying to lean down. So I want to do a hit style workout where I'm also engaging the muscle. I'm not just burning calories. That's not my goal. I don't care to burn calories, calories in, calories out. That's probably never going to be my goal. If I ever work out, it has to involve muscle, uh, whether engaging it, keeping it, you know, like, hey, wake up, don't fall asleep, <laughs> um, while I'm burning fat. So that is why I'm doing the stepper now. Um, it's just a great tool. Plus it's cold, it's winter. I work out in the garage. I really don't like um, going out there if I don't have to. So right now I really only go in the garage for leg day. And yes, I'm still doing leg day. This is not a leg day replacement because I've had people ask that. Absolutely not. Not even like a little guys. This is literally like a little boost, a little way to burn extra calories um, and keep those muscles engaged and woke. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of upper body. That may also not be aligned with your goals <laughs> because I have dramatically lowered the weight for upper body because I'm not trying to build any mass or any size in my upper body. If anything, I'm trying to cut down, lean it down a bit. Um, so the weights have dramatically dropped and what I do specifically is meant to target my personal problem areas. So you won't really see me doing like shoulder raises because Lately, I've been avoiding those. They do um, engage the traps. And I have huge traps, in my opinion. People say they don't see it, but I see it. Um, and I think that was actually due to a lot of shoulder raises and also a bad habit. When I would do deadlifts, and I had someone point this out to me. I didn't even notice it because I don't watch my own videos. Once I upload it, bam, it's up. I don't like really review it. Um, so when I did my deadlifts, I had this habit of when I got up here, I did a shoulder shrug. Always did that shoulder shrug and I was lifting quite a bit. So imagine all those shoulder shrugs for years. Yeah, so I've, I've built that up and now I try to avoid any workout that may engage it. So again, it, it might not be aligned with, with your body goals. I just gotta put that out there because I feel like fitness can be very deceiving if you don't know what that person has been through or what that person has done. Oh, I'm like, you're just pointing. I don't know what I have to watch out for. Damn, I do got If you didn't tell me, I probably... That would have been good for the video. That was pricey. <laughs> you're like sitting there debating, should I or should I not tell her that she's going to bust her shit? Uh, yeah, I was funny. thinking, why are you going to bust the light? Ah, <laughs> what a jerk. It wasn't even that expensive. It's like under 200, no? Yeah. 190. <sighs> Anyways, um, so yeah, hopefully I cleared that up. You know, I never want to be deceiving or, or seem like I'm trying to tell you guys I did something that I didn't actually do to gain my gains. I did a lot of compound lifts. I lifted very, very heavy and I ate towards my goals. That's how I got to the body goals that I Or to my solve body. that, that everyone is asking you for the link. I know everyone keeps asking for it. And like I said, if you're looking for a hit style workout, if you just want to keep active, you want something in your house, it's great. But don't think that you're going to get a big booty from it or something. Yeah, like, you know, like, I'm just saying, it's not going to do it. Um, I, mean, I never want to fool you guys. We're not getting sponsored either. And no, because again, I still don't know the brand name. Yeah. Biozo. Biozo. Bio something. But any of them will do. Anyways, I'm going to do this. Um, you can kind of see how my body moves because I just keep doing stuff. Like you'll see me just constantly like doing crazy shit. Um, and that's just to keep the muscles engaged and, and and challenge. So we're gonna do that. 
And we understand that we got people addicted to this because Lila is addicted to it. I understand, yeah. Lila is super addicted to this. She jumps on every moment she can possibly get. Um, but I need to warm it up for her. Because it starts off really like hard to do, but as you keep going, because I'm, I'm trying to hit like a goal of, did I say 500? And I was doing 300 reps. But by the time it gets to those high reps, so easy to move this. It loses its resistance because it's heated, it's worked, and that's when she jumps on. <laughs> She's like, yes, I can do it. Anyways, <sighs> no more talking. Eventually, I'm not going to be able to hold up a conversation. That's, that's also the beauty of it. You can take it anywhere, right? Anywhere. It's lightweight. Take it anywhere you want. Hold dumbbells if you want. Those bands are not good for me. I don't know if it's my height that's the issue. They're, in some cases, not resistant enough. And in other cases, too resistant. Does that make sense? Like, I can't bring it up here. I'll snap that shit. I'm tall. <laughs> and then if I try to do this, it's like nothing. It's not resistant enough. So to me, they're pointless. But they might be helpful to someone else. It's getting hard to talk. You could also use a band. It gets more challenging. I can't reach my 500 rep though. Goal with the band. You do squats. They're challenging. Because you gotta balance yourself. Put too much pressure on one leg. You fall. Oh, fudge balls. I guess if they want to um, see the resistance on it for them to keep up with you then. Because we haven't stopped the video. Oh, you haven't? It was like a do along kind yeah. of thing? Do it with me. Jump on now. What? Cool. That? You are crazy about Legos. Yeah, very cool. Easier? Yeah. Good. Whew. All right, so my upper body stuff might make you laugh a little. Bear with me. I love battle ropes. I ain't going in the garage for battle ropes. Like I said, it's way too cold. So, I've been perfecting how to use these three pound dumbbells like ropes and I think I got it down well yeah I got it down <laughs> I got it down guys and it's very challenging I swear a lot. Oh, sorry. So yeah, it's, that works really it's nice. Not a story, it's like, ah. It's a it's a ah, yeah. but I say the, f yeah. and then I end it nice. <laughs> with a k so you get the whole thing if you're listening. Oh. All right. So now, because I got some chunky arms, oh, I was allowing the fat to accumulate for that apple bottom. <laughs> you need a little fat on your body. Anyways, I don't like my arms. These to be very cut. But when my upper body looks good, my lower body looks okay. My lower body looks good, my upper body looks bad. <laughs> um, so, for me, I do a lot of like, comes from boxing type of style moves. Where you're just constantly moving your arms in different directions, hitting different muscles. Um, and I do it kind of a little fast pace. So I can burn calories, lightweight. I, this is kind of heavy for what I do, but it's lightweight. Oh, and once it gets hard, I'll move to those things. Is 
that mean you can throw a good punch there? Probably. Yeah. I have to do this crazy thing where I'm sure if my husband ever walked in on me, he would laugh. Have you ever done like a crazy thing where you know it feels good, but you don't see people doing? I try to punch these as fast as, and as hard as possible. I do it with the 12s actually. It feels better with the 12s. But get yourself in a good spot, keep that core tight, and punch. It's safe to say I could punch someone really hard. <laughs> Especially since I do it with the 12 pounds. I forgot to bring those. Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> Every time I'm doing it, I'm like, imagine if he walks in right now. I'll be like, what the f <laughs> what are you doing? It's like I'm working on my beating up skills, you know? <laughs> Never know when I need it. <sighs> oh, and I do bicep curls. Go with the 12s. Let me go get the 12s. <sighs> Alright, so I got my 12 pounds. Uh, and yeah, I need 12 pounds because I do a lot of reps, which is the goal because when you're trying to just kind of pump the muscle, get it engaged, but burn, um, burn fat, you want to do a higher rep range. So for that reason, I just keep going, going. I allow that burn. I used to do 35 pound bicep curls, but I ain't trying to grow, I'm trying to lean. So, high rep. High rep. Mind-muscle connection, guys, that's huge too. Or else you'll do way more reps than necessary. I do a funny bounce. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it just happens. Whew. Ah, very good. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. It's working. You just do what, three times? Four times. Four, times. Four to five times. I don't believe in three sets. I think three sets are like the perfect, like, damn, I'm heated up, I'm good. And then you end it, you know? It's like, I feel like you're jipping yourself. That four and five set is like, whoo, killer. So that is it, and we're just gonna go and move to food? Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that, and then we'll move to food. Later, y'all.
<laughs> Get it, girl. Getting stronger. You are. Mm -hmm. She moved to the three pounds. Here's the other one. Cat. <laughs> You're gonna fall over. Mommy. Only one at a time? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so easy. sorry. Okay. Okay. More easy, she said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next to more easy, mommy. Well, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's already started. He has his music playing while he cooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of like every day, right, baby? Yep. <laughs> He's the chef here. I do help him though, right, baby? Yeah. I come and I do like the petty stuff. I cut. <laughs> no, it's because I'm always working and I've, I don't think about food. If it wasn't for him, I probably would never reach my goals. Seriously, though. Right? Because yep. I gotta eat a lot and uh, I suck at that. So, and anyways, usually, it's always not my case about it. And usually, I cannot ask you what you want because the I'm answer a, is no. I'm a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm the sweetest person ever. No assumptions about me. Not to be a bitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> Point being, uh, he does the chicken, I come in for this meal, and I do the cutting. We're doing nachos. We're basic when it comes to food. We're very simple. You know, like I don't like to do things that are a little too. Uh, Pardon my reach, I gotta get moving. Um, what was I saying? Damn it! We usually yeah. eat the same foods. We eat the same foods, and that's mainly because it's easier to just prepare. It's macro friendly, like super macro friendly. We know we love it, we don't react to it. Usually, when we eat new foods, we go through this whole like our bodies react to adjust and stuff. You're either going to the bathroom a lot, or you're breaking out, he breaks out from things. Um, so, you know. We stick to the same shit. We like it though. It's not like we're tired of it. If we're tired of it, we'll cycle out and like find a food that you know we haven't had in a while. And yeah. Anyways, I'm making the pico, which we add on top of the nachos. We do loaded nachos. They got everything in it. Oh, and then uh, seasoning. What we use? This is seasoning we use. Just this, right? Yeah, and salt a little bit. And salt. Oh, and then you do use a chili thing, right? Uh, where is it? Oh no, it's a, oh yeah, chili garlic sauce that he adds to the chicken. After he removes Lila's chicken. She can't see no red on her chicken. Spicy! I'm like, that's a red pepper! Spicy! I'm like, okay, forget it. And I usually wait until it gets juicy. And then he seasons it. Yeah. Knife. I need a knife. You like how I look with a knife, right? <laughs> Whenever I talk to him, I'm always tired. He's like, can you stop with the knife? I've never injured anyone. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Uh, so the pico just has uh, tomatoes, onion, cilantro. Sometimes I add that. I haven't been adding it. Do you want it? No. No. Okay. And then I put some salt in it um, and lime. And that's it. But it really does make all the difference. When you don't have it, you feel like you're just missing it. You know? Mm-hmm. Crying? Mmm, I fucking hate it. I'm here, babe. Oh, shut up. You silly man. Oh, someone's gonna get offended that I said that. You call me a little bitch and I call you a little bitch. <laughs> this is just the way we talk. It's all in love. We never swear at each other when we're mad at each other. When we're mad at each other, we just don't talk to each other. Be more concerned when I'm silent. But if you ever hear me cussing at my husband, it's all in good fun. Stop getting so offended, people. Y'all gotta understand. It's just relationships are, you know, different. It just depends on the individual and how we are. And we always playing around. Always playing around. Keeping mm. it spicy. Mm. No, it's just weird. <laughs> and then you gotta add the lime. I only do one side though. I don't do both sides. It's a little too much after that. And salt. Salt makes all the difference. You know, it's funny because I used to eat uh, just tomato slices with salt and when I told my husband this, he thought I was crazy. I don't know if it's just a Romanian thing or a European thing, but yeah, we would just slice the tomato, put some salt and pop it in our mouth. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yes. I grew up that way. I don't know. <laughs> that was normal to me. Comment who does that. Comment below. Who does that? Who eats tomato like it's a fruit with salt? It is considered a fruit, no? Tomato? Yeah. Has seeds. 
Because that seeds? Yeah. The word they didn't was like. Was it tomatoes? No. I feel like it was something else. No, it's tomatoes. No? It's debatable. The word that Lila hates. <laughs> what does Lila hate? Debatable. Oh, debatable. She hates that word. But she gets me really upset. And she does something that you know she shouldn't be. Okay, those parents, you know, you tell your kid ten times not to do something, they do it, and then you get mad. I love you. I'm like, debatable. And she's like, no! <laughs> or she'll be like, something. she'll say something's cute that's really not cute at all, and I'll be like, debatable. <laughs> She hates that word. That's funny. I tease her. Uh, Alright, so that's done. That's what it should look like. Putting that aside. Now, beans. It's just a necessity. Like, I love it. Eating nacho nachos without beans. And specifically, this vegetarian black bean soup. Highly recommend. One time we didn't have it, we used just pinto beans, right? Or did we use black beans? Black, black beans. We used black beans. It was not bad, but this has such a good flavor, like, oh my god. And another thing that makes a difference is the sour cream. We water it down a little bit so that you don't have globs of sour cream all over mm. your nachos. Milk it down. What'd I say? Water down. Water it. It's kind of the same difference, though. Yeah. But we don't want people to use water. Would it be bad? Yeah. It's so like pancakes with water. I've had Why? cereal with water. Why? Because you macros? No, because I, I was poor and I, <laughs> I didn't have milk, but I just had a ton of cereal. It was when I was living solo, 16 years old, you know, living with my siblings and, well, we didn't have structure. <laughs> I, wouldn't, so, I wouldn't do that. I would have just eat it just dry. I mean, it doesn't feel satisfying to eat it uh, dry. I wouldn't do milk, but it... Whatever I ate it with, I think it was cinnamon toast crunch, and that has so much cinnamon and sugar that it like turned the water into like horchata. <laughs> I guess. There you go. <laughs> I, I mean, it wasn't great, but I was hungry, so it was great. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I starved a lot back then. Whew, I was a starving kid. See, I do all the petty stuff. I get everything ready. Uh, he likes these big scoop style because it just feels it works better. I like to pop the whole thing in my mouth. This is a lot. It's a lot. Do you bite it in half? No. Nope. You pop the whole thing in your mouth. Whole thing. Okay. Well, see, that's why I don't like this because you kind of got to pop the whole thing in your mouth. I use these. We always show this on Snap, which is why we're doing because everyone always wants to know how we do it. I feel like we've done it. We probably have. Right? I've probably shown it. Yeah. I like these little ones because they're just bite size friendly, you know, you pop them in. Let's do that. This is Lila's plate. She eats in her own special way. <laughs> she eats funny. She eats everything with sour cream. She dips her chicken in sour cream. She was eating a donut with sour cream. Don't, I know, I know, it's weird, it's weird, but whatever. As long as she eats. As long as she eats. And then he'll put chicken before he adds the chili in her plate. And hers is ready. This one. You gotta add sharp cheddar into the beans. We used to um, do beans and as he was pouring the beans, I would quickly go and put the cheddar so that it could melt. And then we're like, uh, why don't we just put the cheddar already into the beans? That's because we're cooking with our carbs. No, it's because you're, you're lazy. <laughs> what, no, what we just didn't think about it. What is your saying? Work smart, not hard. And it was because I wasn't helping you cook for a little while and you discovered it on your own. Yeah. Because I was working, so I'm like, no, you do it. Okay, well, he came up with that. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're going to let that melt and then we can eat soon. You did two scoops, right? Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it, but right? <laughs> two full scoops? Like, what is a scoop? Like, is that a scoop? Yeah, a little bit less, but it's good. Just throw it. It's good. Stop telling me to season stuff, babe, if I don't do it. This one? It's a lot. Ah! Okay, that's good. Half a spoon? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, <laughs> I'm feeling spicy, baby. <laughs> Smells spicy. Did I put too much? I know. 
Oh. Oh. See, that's what happens when you want me to be on the camera and you won't be on the camera. Well, they I'm like, no, you do it because you always season it. He's like, no. <laughs> so, because you want to be on camera, we just got some spicy ass chicken. More flavor. Almost done. See how our nachos are extremely loaded? Yes. And now why I like to water down my sour cream. You can also get like a uh, lighter fat sour cream. What is it called? Low fat sour cream? <laughs> if you're doing macros and you're trying to keep your fat low or something, uh, we use fat is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Some. <laughs> We're using regular, right? Yeah. Mostly because Lila loves sour cream. And it's a great way for her to get her calories in. <laughs> it's like you want some, some chicken with that sour cream. <laughs> you see the whole scoop of sour cream on the chicken? Anyways, that's what a yummy nacho should look like. It's a loaded nacho. So I'm gonna enjoy this later, y'all. Oh, I should probably end it. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hashtag love it so I know you love it. Hey. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I think I, I shared a little about us more yeah. than we usually do here and there. I don't and know especially they were asking for this. So make sure you like the yeah, video. Yeah, you guys been asking for workouts, food. We're gonna keep doing that if that's what you want. You know, I listen, I listen. Anyway, so if you do like it, hashtag love it so I know you love it. Be sure to like the video. That's a vote that yes, I wanna see more of this. Be subscribed. Don't forget to be subscribed. Hit the little bell right the subscribe button so you're notified every time we post a video. And until next time, bye guys.